What up, y'all? I went to one of the most underrated Caribbean islands out here, Trinidad and Tobago. If you're not familiar with just how amazing Trinidad is, they're very known for their carnival. Listen, in terms of carnival, there's no other place like Trinidad. Trinidad is like the, just, just you just, when it comes to carnival, you cannot not mention Trinidad. Like they have the best carnival in the world. And as a person that's from the islands, I'm Jamaican, right? And I have a lot of, you know, friends if, you know, that's a that's from other Caribbean islands. So I grew up with the understanding of how big carnival is, right? And what I was gonna do is, I was gonna wait to go to Trinidad when I was gonna go to carnival. But I said, you know what? I don't wanna wait any longer. Let me go to Trinidad ASAP, okay? And then I'm gonna go to carnival on the second go around, okay? So let's see, I, I literally took a flight from Miami to Trinidad. It was only about three hours. So that's the beautiful thing too. Like it's literally only three hours away from Miami. I jumped on Caribbean Airlines. It was a direct flight, no layovers, very comfortable, cool airlines. They even have like Caribbean Airline lounges. Top, top, top notch. Good food, good drinks on the plane. Highly recommend Caribbean Airlines, right? Took a flight from Caribbean Airlines, landed in Port of Spain. Trinidad, okay? Now listen, when I landed, you know, was um, after getting my bags and, and going through customs, um, I was welcomed by the tourism board, which is really cool, right? Because this is a different experience, right? Being able to connect with the tourism board because they kind of took me to see the behind the scenes, the, the, the ins and outs, the top to bottoms, introduced me to some really amazing people. But as soon as I got, you know, touched down at the airport, connected with the tourism board, they welcomed us with open arms and then put us in our vehicle to head to the hotel. Now, you know, part of, you know, traveling around the world, you know, you wanna make sure that you're staying at the right places based on location, based on, you know, just being, you know, aesthetic, comfortable, all around great experience, service. And um, the hotel that, that we stayed on in our time in Trinidad was absolutely perfect. It was the bricks. This is a Marriott property. And again, this couldn't be any better. It was very centrally located. It wasn't too, too far from the airport, but it was also close to a lot of, you know, major activities and things to do in Port of Spain, which is pretty much, you know, the capital of Trinidad. And the thing is, this hotel, it was very comfortable, right? So upon check-in, they welcomed us with welcome drinks. It just felt like love and it was just a nice hotel. And this is actually the newest, the newest hotel in Trinidad. Okay, it is the newest hotel in Trinidad. So if you wanna be able to stay at a property that, that you know for sure, you know, is, is up to date, <laughs> right? Based on when you're watching this, the Bricks Hotel is definitely a good look. And then, you know, after getting the room key and checking into the hotel, the room was so spacious. It was more than enough. And then he also had like these welcome snacks. And then also too, visit Trinidad, the tourism board. Uh, they also blessed us with this gift bag. Listen, they, they gave they gave us so much stuff, but just you know the one bag in the room it had a bunch of local snacks, um, also some shirts was really cool. But they gave us even more bags and snacks, which is crazy. But uh, you know the first night, just just really just kicked it, kicked it. You know got comfortable, settled. Um, they had this amazing dinner. Um, amazing restaurant inside of the hotel. Um, had me a nice salmon dish. Highly recommend the salmon. It was really, really good. It was literally the perfect meal uh, to eat upon arrival in Trinidad and before I hit the hay. And um, rolled up to my room and I was gonna get ready and prepared for the next day, day two. So as I just mentioned, right, in the beginning of this video, this is like, you know, everybody knows Trinidad as far as like carnival. Everybody goes there for carnival. But you know, other than, you know, 
friends of mine that are actually from there, I really didn't know like too much about what to do there and experience outside of Carnival. So what I'm about to really show you guys and throughout these few days of us being in Trinidad, I'm gonna really show you some things to do. Um, also some things that you have to eat. Cause if you don't know, Trinidad is actually really big on food. They have some of the most amazing food in the world. Oh my God, doubles? I can literally spend my the rest of my life eating doubles every single day. But listen, I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff. But yeah, I wanna show you guys some things to do, places and things to eat, and just, just all around experience outside of Carnival that you don't commonly hear from a lot of people, okay? So after like, you know, waking up, went to the gym, got some breakfast. You know, the breakfast at the hotel is really, really nice. And the gym is pretty cool as well. It was time to hit these streets, okay? The first stop on our tour was this really nice fruit stand, right? You guys, if you guys know anything about me, if you watch previous videos, you know I love local fruit, man. So we had some amazing local fruit, but then also we had some coconuts, right? I love coconut water, ladies and gentlemen. And the coconut water was so good, it was refreshing. You can have a cold one, or you can have one just, you know, regular temperature, right? But the coconut water was so, so, so good. And then after leaving the fruit stand, it was time to go back to hitting the streets, right? And then the next stop, we went to a temple. Now what's really interesting, Trinidad is very multicultural, very multicultural, uh, you know, especially there's a lot of Indian influence uh, within Trinidad. And you'd be surprised to see that there's actually like temples, like similar temples that you would see like in Thailand or Bali or like India, they have these temples like, and that's, that's very aesthetically beautiful. And of course, it's like a place of worship. So, you know, for people that practice Hindu and things of that nature, right? So the first temple that we went to was um, the temple, the temple by the sea. Now listen, this this temple is so unique. It was literally surrounded by a huge body of water. And the story behind this temple, guys, it was so interesting, right? Like some, some guy was like looking to build this. He like came from India and he wants to like build this temple based on like the things he had saw and what he've learned and wants to create a place of worship. And the thing is he had built it up and then like someone came and like tore it down, right? And then like years later, he ended up like, you know, starting a project again, like other people like locally, like like kind of came together and like built up the project. And then now that you just see this beautiful temple, that's, that's literally in the sea. And it's so amazing. The story behind it's amazing. The temple itself is amazing. And when you're in Trinidad, it's definitely something that you have to see, right? And then from there, we went to another temple-like location. Uh, it was called Sri Deti, or I, wanna, I don't wanna pronounce it wrong, Sri uh, Deti, De, Sri Tria. okay? Um, excuse my pronunciation, but man, like it's a, it's a, like a, a yoga center but it's also like a temple right like it's definitely a place of worship but they do like other events there as well but this is like they have a statue um it's a god that they that they pray to and the statue is so massive like i'm telling you it's like huge okay and i believe it's like the second largest um statue of that of that particular god outside of india but it's just huge. You see it from like blocks and blocks and blocks away. It's so tall, but that temple itself, it was very, it was a beautiful place. And again, it, you felt like you were in a totally like different country. Like I felt like, literally, I felt like I was in Bali um, for sure. And that's just definitely a place that uh, you should check out when you're, when you're in Trinidad, right, for sure, right? And then, you know, after going to these, you know, temples, you know, we certainly worked up an appetite uh, because now it was time to get some street food and i gotta tell you listen 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 you go to trinidad you gotta eat the local food but you gotta also get that street food as well um from there uh then we went to aunt dolly's now again aunt dolly is like a legend in trinidad man like she's like this og like this 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 woman that's like well known for her cooking and like she make what she she can cook she can cook guys like i'm saying she can really cook some local trinidadian food and like it's like her setting is like this real like island outside kitchen type situation and her family like helps her and it's like some of like some very like 
well-known people have came to Aunt Dolly's to try her cooking. And also too, they provide like a like a, an experience where you can learn how to cook, right? So one of the popular dishes in Trinidad is their roti, right? And they, they were pretty much showing us how to make roti. You saw me, I was just chopping it up because it's like when you chop it up and make it a certain way that it's called bust up shot. So I was, bop. <laughs> Right, making all that. I was cutting up the egg, you know, eggplant. I was making just all these different dishes, and it's like, it was cool because I felt like we were earning our meal. That's how I felt. I felt like we were earning our meal. So it was really cool, not just to to eat it, right, or just to watch them make it, but it was also really cool um, to actually like make it ourselves, or at least like add or you know, I kind of chime in and make some things just so we can have that experience, right? And then after when things was all done and ready to eat, that roti was so good. Guys, this is definitely one of the top things that you have to eat in Trinidad, the roti. Oh my, but it is very filling. It's another like dough, you know, type of thing. And there's curry, there's potatoes, you can get chicken curry, chicken roti, you can get shrimp roti, fish roti, you can, there's all different types of rotis, but mine was more like vegetarian based. I would have got, you know, fish or shrimp if any of that stuff was available, but I got more so a vegetarian based, and it was so, so, so good and filling. Whew, boy, I, fe I felt like a trini after eating that, man. Like, I didn't want to go home, right? I wanted to, I just wanted to keep eating some roti. But anyways, guys, so after, you know, we had an amazing just afternoon lunch there, eating roti and connecting with Dolly and connecting with her family. And listen, y'all, shout out to Aunt Dolly, shout out to her family, shout out to, you know, letting us into our, into our humble abode um, to experience that because that was honestly very, one of the most um, special parts of this trip was really experiencing that for sure, right? Uh, maybe I'll kind of like drop a link on how you can do that experience for you because I, I would encourage you to do that when you come to Trinidad for sure. Okay, just tell that your boy, your boy Kamoy sent you. Okay, and uh, from there, head back to the hotel to kind of like change up, relax, and you know we had a, a very interesting adventure later on that night and they kept saying like hey we're gonna go see some turtles but to be honest with you i had no idea what that really meant i was thinking like all right cool we gonna see some like little turtles by the by the beach and you know cool but lee literally didn't get out there until like 11 30 like p.m like it was pretty much midnight right by the time we got there and i'm be like in my mind, I'm like, this is really late to go to the beach. It's really dark. I don't know what we're going to see. But I was there with an open mind, and I was just going to check it out and see what's going on. And let me tell you all something. They have this thing. It's like a leatherback turtle experience. This turtle was the biggest turtle that I ever seen in my life. If you guys listen, leatherback turtles, they're, they're literally... It, like big like could be bigger than me like huge and it was really cool because what happens is periodically they'll come up to the come up to the to the you know to the beach from the water and they'll lay eggs and they have this like process where they like they 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 want to they want to find the perfect place to lay their eggs and it was cool because the the organization that pretty much was showing us this experience um, they were kind of talking to us about it, like letting us know, like oftentimes these turtles will like, they like hide like where the eggs are from other people by like, you know, moving the sand. So they'll like keep going around like a circle and around the area and they'll keep pushing sand in terms of where the eggs are. So that way, if you were to go in that area, you just see a bunch of sand everywhere and you don't even know that there's eggs potentially there. It'll just be kind of really hard and that's really smart. And then after they do that, then they go back into the ocean, right? So it was just such a really cool, unique experience and like, it was like midnight, 12.30 in the morning and um, I didn't know what to expect, right? Um, but uh, yeah, for sure, you know, very unique experience. Definitely come to Trinidad. I didn't expect that. Again, Trinidad is way more than just carnival. There's just... You just don't know what to expect out there, right? But that was really cool. And we got back to the hotel and it was time for some shut eye and get ready for the next day. All right, y'all, so now it was time for day three in Trinidad, right? And bam, hit the gym, uh, had some good breakfast. You know, a very popular dish out there is called like choca, 
Um, they have like, you know, tomato choker, and you got, you know, these different types of chokers, you gotta try, it's a very popular dish out there, smoked herring, even smoked herring is a very popular dish, which in Jamaica, so I was very familiar with herring, uh, but the choker, that was completely new for, for me, but I'll, I'll try it, eight out of 10 for me, right? Um, but after eating breakfast, um, it was time to hit these Trinidad streets. And uh, the first stop, was the, was the Hadco Nature Center. Now this was a really, really, really unique experience. This was like an eco lodge um, place where like, you know, they have like, you know, hotel, it's like a pretty much you can stay there, it's like a hotel. Um, also there's like nature walks and nature hikes. They have like natural pools. Um, there's like a spa there. It was really cool and we got welcomed there. It was so much love when we got there. Like there was like this line of ladies. They had like drinks waiting for us. They had like these these uh, these warm towelettes for us to wash, you know, wipe our hands. They just really showed love and welcomed us. It, it was really cool. And then we got there, you know, first things first, it was just lunchtime. Right, so we had some amazing local Trinidad cuisine um, at the Nature Center. And then after eating, it was time to go on a nature walk. Now, what I recommend to you is making sure that you have sneakers, uh, matter of fact, just sneakers. Just, I would recommend having sneakers. I was gonna say closed toe shoes and that may, you know, that may work, different types of closed toe shoes, but Sneakers, okay? Um, but yeah, because that, that, that walk was, um, it was a little walk. <laughs> That's what I'll say. But it was worth it, right? So as you go to this walk, um, you see some, you just see like just, the nature's amazing, right? I didn't know Trinidad was just so, so green like that. Like the, the, the nature, it's a very like green place. Um, so it's just seeing the nature there, seeing like these little crabs and these other little animals just, you know, you know, when I say animals, don't act, get scared. Like nothing like harmless, but you've seen these little baby crabs going around, uh, which is really cool. Um, I ain't gonna front. I was walking. Look, we had, we had made this made. I guess we made a mistake because we had walked past like this little. I don't know if it was, I don't even know what to call it. There were, I don't know if there were ants. I don't know if there what kind of bun state bugs they were, but we had walked over like this little nest or whatever it was like we just walked in some bugs territory and listen the reason why i'm stressing to you guys to have on sneakers i was wearing sandals because again when i'm in the islands when i'm in someplace tropical i wear sandals that's just my vibe boy did i mess up today it was like we walked over this place and like these these bugs just like jumped walked out the ground and like they just attached to my foot I was like, oh my God, I started running. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. I was running, I was like, listen, we gotta go. Um, but listen, if I would've had like, like sneakers on, um, I wouldn't have had to, I would, that wouldn't have happened. At the level it happened to, but I was just, I was out. Listen, that nature walk turned into a nature, a nature run, a day, I was out. Right, um, but yeah, man, saw some like cool, like little waterfalls, and and then um, after finishing the walk, we had pretty much went to this like natural pool, and it was just it was so chill, good vibes. Myself and the rest of the people that was on this um, this trip, because again, we were traveling. It was like with the tourism board, right? So they call it like a fam a fam tour. We were just vibing. We were just kicking it, man. Refreshing, good view, good vibes. And um, after being there for probably about cool 45 minutes hour, we jumped out. And it was um, it was time to pretty much head back to the hotel. Okay, got to the hotel, cleaned up, chilled, and then um, that evening we got invited to a pre-fashion festival. One thing that they're trying to not necessarily try, but one thing that they are going to do in Trinidad is they're going to pretty much launch this like big fashion festival every single year. So we were there at the pre-fashion festival because it was pretty much to to introduce it. Uh, to have people just understand what's to come, how big it's gonna be. And it was a very good social environment. Got a chance to meet some very high level people there. Um, we met the person that pretty much manages the Bricks, Bricks Hotel, which is the Marriott we're staying at. Um, person that's in you know very high positions in terms of the tourism board. Um, other people that are very well respected within Trinidad. People travel from other countries. People that, you know, we met some um, like fashion models, people that are, um, 
you know, that design clothes. So yeah, so like it was a really good event, right? Food was good. They were, they were, there was nice drinks. The people were cool. You know, they had the violinists. They had like these dancers. They were like dressed up in this, this crazy get up and like they were just doing all this Ah, ah, they was, they was getting busy, right? And the, the, the vibes, the music, man, it was just, a, it was a dope experience. You know, I'm excited about the, fa the fashion festival. You know, I may just have to come back next year when it goes down, okay? And um, from there, man, that wrapped up the day, man. That was, yeah, that was amazing. That was amazing. Again, Trinidad is way more than Carnival. So head back to the hotel, got some rest, because we was gonna get ready for the next day. All right, so now it was day four, right? Bittersweet because now this is the last day, but again, we going out in Trinidad with a bang. So after waking up and enjoying some more breakfast, had again, had some more choca um, and herring. Cause again, I'm on a, I was on a strict, so it's funny, on a strict diet, right? As far as keto goes, but I had broke my keto diet to eat doubles and roti. <laughs> <laughs> um, but outside of eating like certain, certain like Trini like staples, I was pretty much still sticking to uh, my eating style, okay? Which is pretty much, you know, seafoods and, and vegetables. That's kind of like my, 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 my eating style, right? But um, yeah, after eating breakfast, uh, we went to uh, this place called Ortonola um, Guest House. And essentially like this was a place where like they make chocolate and what i also didn't know as well like trinidad is, trinidad is actually very well known for chocolate and the chocolate there is actually amazing and like they actually produce a lot of chocolate you know and it goes out to the world and i didn't know that but you know at this particular location they actually make the chocolate the chocolate there um it's amazing right so we go there and they're just kind of showing us the whole process in terms of like cocoa beans right you know from the tree and like they pick it and it's like they then we had like broke it so you can see how it looks and it's like almost like a like a fruit because it's like a fruit and it has like this 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 like sweet like substance on it so you can eat it well, not you don't want to eat it because it's like actual like bean so like you can like taste it whatever and then like they, there's this thing where like she was showing us that we can like step on it you can like step on it um just kind of show us the whole process it was it was really cool um giving us a really behind the scenes on how they make chocolate right and then from there uh they had pretty much brought us in this room so we could like like take all the chocolate and like you can like, add like add like sea salt you can add sprinkles and we can we, we can like put in like in these different trays so like if you wanted your chocolate to be shaped like a flower you can kind of put it in here if you want to be shaped like a regular bar you can put it in there so listen we was really getting busy we was really making chocolate it was really cool right so had kind of made like a few of my own took it back home to give to some loved ones and you know then they also blessed us with some lunch uh, we had some um, well I had some kingfish and I had some veggies um, other people were eating like some chicken and things of that nature and the food was the food was a1 for sure and when you come to Trinidad I would encourage you to definitely try this experience right because guess what chocolate is well known in Trinidad and it's like why not go behind the scenes see how chocolates made and and to learn from a family um, that's been that's because it's a family-run business so they've been producing chocolate for a little minute right so definitely highly recommend right and then from there it was time to head to Maracas Beach okay now listen y'all when you go to Trinidad you have to you have to go to Maracas Beach it is a very beautiful beach right and and guess what when you get to the beach there's this there's a there's this you have to try this thing okay it's the food like there's a special food special thing you have to eat it is called bake and shark oh my goodness again i want to say top two top two things for me to eat out in trinidad one is doubles two bacon shark so yeah by maracas beach there's there's several different options to get bacon shark 
right? Uh, where we went to was a place called Uncle Sam's and Sons. Um, I heard this one of the top places. Other people have other opinions. That's the thing too. When it comes to like doubles and all these different things and roti and, sh and bacon shark, people have their, their favorite places. So if you say, hi, I went here, you're gonna have a lot of people say, oh no, you should have went here. Um, but we heard some good things about Uncle Sam's and Sons. And um, not only did we get opportunity to eat bacon shark there, uh, they also took us behind the scenes um, as well, which was amazing because we got, got the chance to see how they make the bake which is kind of like a, it looks like bread almost, but it's it's not just bread, right? But you got a chance to see how that made. We got a chance to see them, how they cut up the shark. And then like, once you, once you kind of like get the bacon shark and then like you go to like this stand where like you could put, you could put all your toppings. Oh my gosh, like all the toppings and then like all the sauces and you can just hook it up. You know, it's funny. The, the night before, when I was at the pre-fashion festival, um, I had I had met you know this I had met this this lady and she was like, listen, you gotta get bacon shark. Now she was like, most people when they get bacon shark, they put all these toppings on it and where you can barely close it. I would recommend not doing that. Put a couple of toppings, you know, so you can really you know get it good. And I was like, I, okay. But lo and behold, I, I'll never forget it. I was there and I was putting all these toppings. <laughs> because you just feel like you want to try all these toppings. I wasn't mad because when it was time to eat it, ladies and gentlemen, oh my God, that bake and shark was slamming. It was so good. Listen, if you came to Trinidad, no, listen, if you go to Trinidad and if you don't eat bacon shark, you wasn't really in Trinidad. I'm just saying, you wasn't really in Trinidad, right? And I've had bacon shark before in the United States, like, it's just not the same. You got to eat it in Trinidad. Ooh, listen, this was the perfect way to kind of like wrap up this trip. Oh my gosh. But anyways, yeah, we got the bacon shark and then we actually headed over to Maracas Beach and this beach is beautiful. Beach, the sand is beautiful. The water is beautiful. The palm trees are beautiful. The people are beautiful. Everything was beautiful. It was just an amazing beach, man. Listen, I wish we had a lot more time. I could have, I could have, I could have, I could have, I could have laid out on that beach and I would have been good with life, right? Um, but then it started raining a bit and then we got, we had to kind of get out of there. Uh, so we loaded up the van and then we pretty much, you know, we, we got out of, we left the beach, right? But such an amazing, amazing place to kind of like, kind of like, you know, because this wasn't the, it was the last day of the trip, right? So it was a good, it was a good place to go in terms of the last day, right? So we started to hit the road, um, but before we kind of like hit the road road, we had stopped at this lookout point, right? And at this lookout point, point there's a beautiful view, but it was raining a bit, so we didn't get the opportunity to kind of like see it too much. Um, but they had like this stand where you can get like some local, local foods. And um, well, the one thing we were recommended to try um, we would recommend try a lot of things, right? Because sure that is such a big foodie place, but it was something called chow, right? And they have like pineapple chow, mango chow, cucumber chow, and they got different types of chow. But essentially, I got the cucumber chow. Um, I probably would have got pineapple or mango, but I'm still on like a keto diet, even though I did eat bread and all that stuff, whatever. Don't judge me. Um, I was still trying to like stick to it for the most part, right? So I got cucumber chow because on keto, you can't eat like high, high sugar type fruits, even though I know it's good sugar, healthy sugar. I, I get it. But listen, I got cucumber chow. And I knew what it was. Cucumber tastes but so good. So it was what it was, but it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, and they put like, like this, this like, sauce and juices you just gotta try chow when you go to trinidad it was good right so we head back to the hotel and um got cleaned up because now it was time to go to this amazing dinner right listen 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 so the restaurant is called 12 right and it's kind of like a private unique dining experience nine courses and like it was like very it was like a fancy it was a fancy dining experience, right? Where like certain dishes that we were familiar with, like say like roti, like they made it look like real fancy. And they even like, they had this like sardine dish where it was like hanging and it's like, it was so fancy, like the whole presentation. And then like each food was paired with a drink that was specifically for that food. And like, they were very intentional about like the drink being matched up with the food because of the taste. Oh, look, the whole experience was just, 
it was just A1. And then the chef would come out and explain each dish. Listen, if you're gonna go to go, if you have a, if you there with a, you know, you wanna impress a date, or you take taking, you got family out there, I'll bring them to 12, right? I'll, I'll, I'll drop the link so that way you know where to go, but like, this is a really cool, you know, fine dining, fancy, you know, unique experience in Trinidad for sure, right? And then like, we got a chance to just kinda like laugh, drink, be merry, eat, just, just all around good vibes. And especially in terms of like, this was like the last night of the trip, the last night of us in Trinidad. This was just a really, it was a perfect place. I couldn't think of a better way to end this trip, but eating there and experiencing this with the people um, that were part of this tour, right? And um, from there, belly was full. <laughs> He's talking about nine courses. Um, got back to room and it was just, it was time to night night. And then from there, man, it was just, it was time to head to the airport. Um, time to go back to Miami and Trinidad was amazing. Guys, I would rate, I would rate Trinidad 10 out of 10 for sure. You have to come to Trinidad. And like, of course, you gotta go to Carnival. I still need to experience Carnival. I cannot wait to go. I plan on going next year. Um, but for if maybe a person like me and you're like kind of holding off on going to Trinidad because you're trying to go to Carnival, listen, do both. Go ASAP as soon as possible and go for Carnival. Because the cool thing is this, it's like, you know, when it's Carnival time, everything's like really, really busy, busy, busy. So like, I think if you would go like a time that's not Carnival, um, you get a lot more opportunity where it's maybe not so hustle and bustle and so busy, but you get to really experience the true essence of that island and all the cool things to do, the culture, oh, the food, the people. Just everything, an all around amazing place. I think it's a very underrated country. Um, and then they have like a, kind of like, you know, because it's Trinidad and Tobago. It's pretty interesting, it's Trinidad and Tobago, but they're separate. So you gotta like, you can either fly or take like a ferry to like Tobago. Um, I didn't go to Tobago, but like heard good things about Tobago. So you can actually go to Trinidad and Tobago. Um, but man, Trinidad, 10 out of 10, all, all across the board. I would highly recommend you to go and listen, do you want to see more travel experiences like this? Like, do you want to continue to follow the journey and, and just all the cool things that I'm about to continue to do? If I were you, I would subscribe to the channel, like this video, if you truly liked it. If you don't like it, I would still like it. But no, seriously, if you like it, hit the like button because it would definitely help the channel, help the algorithm. And also drop in the comments where I should go next, right? Where do you think I should go next? Where do you plan on going? Like, let me know. I would like, I would love to know where you guys are going. And um, listen, man, you know, it is what it is. That's a wrap. You don't gotta go home, but I am home. So I'll holla.